Andy must warn Wei's husband and their friend of the dangers of operating. But there is a chance that she might not wake up at all. And there's a chance, of course, that she might not get through the operation. I think he's just very, very obsessed about this. Should we put him in a bed? He's collapsed. That's right, he's got a pulse. That's right. What's his name? What's his name? His name is Jimmy. 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 You're right there. Guys, is that okay? No, it doesn't. Okay, this guy's collapsed. Okay, so I need some help now. Okay. Fine, well, let's just get a monitor on him first. That's fine. We're well, not in the corridor, we can't sit. All right, I think you'll be okay. I just, yeah. yeah, I think he just he just needs some oxygen and some fluids and stuff. Yeah. He became very sweaty, but he's not really became particularly tachycardic either. But he's had a, a, a decent pulse. Is he just, what did you say his BM is? 7.0. 7 fine. Okay. Yes, he has been. He has been responding to. So. Yeah. Wei and her husband now occupy two beds in adjoining rooms. Ready to take trophy, all right? Take it out, thanks. To release the pressure in Adam's brain, Jay must pierce a hole in the ventricle where the cerebrospinal fluid is trapped. So that's us now in the ventricles, in the middle of the fluid spaces of the brain. And right between the red dot at the top and the red line at the bottom is our landing pad. No, it's okay at the moment, thanks. We need to obviously be very careful about where we make our hole. We don't want to damage either the basilar artery or the pituitary gland. Just stretching. Now getting in a little tiny dot of a hole, just trying to make it open up by itself. So kind of passively trying to get it to open up rather than having to tear a hole. This is one of my favorite operations. I absolutely love them because this is real hallowed ground for neurosurgeons, this area. This is stuff which 30 years ago, operating in this region, was one of the most dangerous sort of operations a neurosurgeon would do. And now, I won't say we can do it with impunity, because that would be madness, but it wasn't quite a death sentence, but was highly, highly dangerous for the patient. Jay is now precariously close to the fornix, where memories are made and stored. This is the most intricate part of the procedure. 